my name's Fred Phillips, and uh, I'm a carholic. I own a local automotive parts manufacturing business, Focus Auto Design, and uh, the car collection that's here has been assembled over the last 25 years. It's just a, a passion of mine. The collection's very diverse. We have sports racing cars, Can-Am cars, pre-war cars, micro cars, drag race cars, uh, Trans-Am race cars, uh, one-off custom-built prototypes. I think there's a car in here that would uh, fit any appetite. This is the 1937 Tommy Lee Speedster. It's a one-off car built by a fellow named Frank Curtis for a 28-year-old kid named Tommy Lee that inherited a $45 million estate in 1934. Uh, it's it's uh, Art Deco inspired by the Cord and the Auburn Boattail Speedster. It's a one-off aluminum body. Uh, it is powered by a one-off Offenhauser engine. Currently, I've been accused of being a preservationist. And I think if we're ever gonna elevate car collecting from hobby to history, we have to behave that way. And there are certain cars, not all cars, uh, that we just don't have the right to do things on it. If you went to the Louvre in France and looked at the Mona Lisa, you know, a lot of people would walk up there and go, geez, it's small. Uh, it's a little drab. I think she needs a quick buff, uh, some new lipstick. I mean, you'd be run out of the country. This is a 1964 Shelby Cobra Daytona Coupe. These are the first North American vehicle to win the World GT Championship. Uh, these cars were designed by a 21-year-old kid at the time named Peter Brock. He put this coupe body on a Cobra Roadster chassis and the aerodynamics on this car allowed them to go 30 miles an hour faster on the top end and they won the World GT Championship with these cars. They built six of them in 1964. I had this collection and a lot of people knew about me and I tended to be an enigma. I was very private about things and then something changed in our lives. Uh, we went through a facility called ARC. It's the Alberta Adolescent Recovery Center. I went into ARC personally thinking I needed help for my kid and uh, you know I was just like here's my check, can you fix my kid? I mean, this is, this is the way I felt. My, my kid had ruined my life. I painted this picture about how my family was gonna look. And at this point in our lives, uh, it was a horrible painting. It had been rained on, it, it did not turn out. And so we went in kicking and screaming, and uh, the blessing for me was I changed. Alcoholism and addiction is an equal opportunity destroyer. Uh, there's no boundaries. There's no geographic boundaries to it. Uh, you can be uh, from the penthouse to the outhouse. The notion came up about opening the cars up and uh, using them as the tool, a vehicle, to uh, entice people to come out and share something, put a smile on people's faces. And then the donations that we receive here uh, when the tours are done, I personally match them and we can double the contribution to ARC. It uh, puts the word out about what ARC is and uh, people get to see some cars. If you have any car in you, it's a great thing to do.